Hi, so in today's video we are going to learn how to find the sum of interior angles of a polygon. Yes, of course, we are going to derive a formula for that. So let me first draw a polygon. So let this be the first point and this be the second point and let this be the third point, fourth point, fifth point and let this be the sixth point and let it be a hexagon. So we have got one hexagon, right? So let me name it as A, B, C, D, E and F, right? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw diagonals from point A. And while doing that, what I'll be doing is I'm actually going to divide this hexagon into triangles, isn't it? If I draw all the possible diagonals from point A, this hexagon gets divided into a number of triangles, right? And what are the maximum number of diagonals can be drawn from any point? Yes, I have discussed it in our previous videos. The total number of diagonals possible from any point in a polygon of n sides is n minus 3. n minus 3 is the total number of diagonals. By drawing these diagonals, I am actually able to divide this polygon into 1, 2, 3, 4, that is n minus 2 triangles, isn't it? And now let's color all these triangles into different colors. Let this be the first triangle. Let this be the second triangle, let this be the third triangle and let this be the fourth triangle, right? I have colored all these triangles in different colors, right? And now if I talk about the interior angles, this angle A is made up of this angle from the first triangle plus this angle from the second triangle plus this angle from the third triangle and this angle from the fourth triangle, isn't it? Yes, and this angle B is made up of this angle of the green triangle, right? Similarly, angle C is made up of this angle of the green triangle plus this angle of the blue triangle. Angle D is made up of this angle of blue triangle and this angle of yellow triangle. And angle E of the polygon is made up of this angle of the yellow triangle and this angle of the lavender triangle, isn't it? And angle F of the polygon is angle F of the lavender triangle, right? So what can we visualize from here? We can visualize that sum of all the angles of the polygon is actually the sum of all the interior angles of all these four triangles, isn't it? Yes, no angle is coming from outside or no angle of any triangle is getting wasted. So sum of all the interior angles will be four times the sum of interior angles of a triangle, isn't it? And what is the sum of interior angles of a triangle? Sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180. So the sum of interior angles of a hexagon will be 4 times 180. That is 720 degrees. So this is the sum of the interior angles in the case of hexagon, which is 720 degrees. But what happens if the polygon has n number of sides? If the polygon has n number of sides, the number of triangles made by drawing the diagonals will be n minus 2, which we have discussed over here, right? So if we have a polygon of n number of edges or n number of sides, the number of triangles made by drawing the diagonals will be n minus 2. So the total sum of interior angles will be number of triangles, which is n minus 2 multiplied by the sum of interior angles of a triangle which is 180 degrees, right? 
So this will be the formula to find the sum of all the interior angles of a polygon of n sides. n minus 2 will be the number of triangles which can be drawn by drawing all the possible diagonals from any point, right? And each triangle has 180 degrees as the sum of its interior angles, right? And here we have seen that the sum of the interior angles of this polygon is actually equal to the sum of interior angles of all these triangles formed, right? So this is the formula to find the sum of all the interior angles of a polygon.